All right, so let's talk about one of the things happening in the behavior uh, tree task. Um, for example, the move to task. Let's see, for every execute task, you have two arguments. One is the uh, the you know the behavior tree component. Another one is something called a um, node memory. Okay, so this node memory is actually not a memory address of the instance of this current specific task, but rather it's a flexible memory, uh, a typical memory allocated for you to do whatever you want, and even the size of this memory can be specified. Okay, so um, go down to the header file. There is a function called uh, here called um, get instance memory size you can see it's a virtual function already here so get instance memory size will be the size you want the system to allocate for you and here instead of it you can see it's it's returning a size of this particular type okay take a look at that that's a type specified up here so when you initialize this specific task, the system will allocate uh, a, 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 a certain amount of memory for you, and that amount will be determined by this get instance memory size. And in this case, it's going to be the size of that structure. And that's why up here, when you do that, um, <clears throat> do that. Uh, let's go all the way up. When you do that, execute task this particular memory address will have a allocated memory of this type size and that's why you can reinterpret casting it right it's a dangerous casting you have to be sure that the size is exactly like that so you can do that right and then you can see it's using that right away right that's that memory here is going to be used right away to define different stuff already so the reason it is guaranteed to be successful here instead of just a type trick is that when the system is allocate that part of memory here, it's using uh, oops, if I go back to the header file, it's using that get instance memory to define to determine how much memory it's gonna allocate. Again, it's gonna be the type size, the size of this type. Okay. And deeper here, um, <clears throat> if you look for the get instance memory you can see this get instance memory will be called by the uh, behavior tree manager here and instead of this uh, initialization list okay here this one <laughs> right and this one is trying to create <coughs> uh, initialize uh, help to initialize a list of nodes that belongs to a particular behavior tree instance uh, because you may have multiple AIs every AI will have a behavior tree instance that behavior tree you create in the editor and every behavior tree instance will have an array of different nodes like decorator like services like tasks whatever their nodes right so for every node it needs initial initialization and this is where they're getting initialized and when they're getting initialized um, their memory, they they have a, they have an attribute called they have a memory variable called uh, um, memory offset, and it's determined by the size, the memory size. Okay, and when they are getting excused in the behavior tree components, they're gonna get that node memory with something <coughs> here called get node memory and then the node memory size is being determined by this memory offset because this memory offset is determined back here earlier by this get instance memory size and it's actually gonna stack on top okay so whenever you are executing a task on a behavior tray instance um, here right when you're getting that memory what you're getting is basically from the list for every mm, behavior tray instance here, it has an instance memory, which is a list of nodes that has instantiated for it. The get data, get data. Uh, this is an tree array, right? <coughs> Excuse me. This is an, this is an tree array, and that a tree array, a tree array has a 
a list of the um, uh, the memory here, or the memory of the instances, and get it. I will give you the first one, and just add that memory offset. That offset is how far away this guy is. This current behavior tree task or whatever the behavior tree node. Uh, you know how far away its memory is from the beginning. Okay, so it's adding that, and that memory offset is keep adding and adding when you're initializing that in the. Uh, if I can go back to the to here um, when you're doing the initialization initialization somewhere like I think it's some somewhere called. Um, it's hard to find. Maybe I can go back to <coughs> where I were and see what is calling this guy. And you will see that the behavior manager, behavior tree manager, will be calling it in the load tray. And when you're loading that tray, it's going to initialize. And you can see it's initializing here. And under here, underneath here, you have this for loop. You can see the memory offset is zero, and it's going to keep adding the data size. The data size again is going to be here. The data size somewhere here, right? Uh, so it it just have to know that that type, uh, the get instance memory size uh, here, get instance memory size is going to be something customized and you ask the system to allocate that memory for you and you can use it across the behavior tree task okay so that's all that is and it's all across the behavior tree system you can have that on the decorator in the service you know it's not just for the task okay i hope that helps and uh, this is also my own note to help me understand or memorize and keeping track of what i have researched because these things can be easily slip away if you don't use these guys you will forget this, so I record those videos to help me to, you know, memorize the things I have spent many time researching on. Okay, so that's it.